Up next, we have Mr. John Hitch singing Mama Sang a Song. I get to thinking lots of times about back when I was a lad of the old home place where I grew up of the days both good and bad. My overalls were hand-me-downs and my shoes were full of holes and I used to walk four miles to school every day through the rain, the sleet and the cold. I'd seen the nights that my daddy would cry for the things that his family would need but all he ever got was a bad land farm and nine hungry mouths to feed. And yet, and yet our home fire never flickered once, cause when all these things went wrong, my mama took the hymn book down and mama sang a song. I've been rocked to sleep a many night to the tune of what a friend come morning rock of ages would wake me gently once again and then daddy'd reach up and take the bible down he'd read it read it loud and long and i always felt that maybe our home was blessed when daddy would say mama sing a song sister left her home first i guess and then bobby and then tommy and then dan by then dad's hair was turning white and I had to be my mama's little man. But it seemed as my daddy's back grew weak, my mother's faith just grew strong. For those were the greatest days of all when my mama sang a song. I guess the house is still standing. I don't get to go back much anymore. No voices left to fill those halls and no steps to grace the floor. For you see my mother and daddy sing in heaven now around God's golden throne. But I'll always believe that this world was a better place because one time my mama sang a song. Thank you and God bless you. That was John Hitch, and he done a good job on that uh, recitation, and we just love him at Judy's Barn. He's been coming off and on for the last 15 years, but uh, he used to be a Tennessee barn dance singer, and uh, now he's went gospel and country, and he does a lot of shows. It's called Maybury. And uh, he just goes from here to there. But every chance he gets, he stops in at Judy's barn. And we're real proud of John Hitch. He's, he's always been real faithful, always been there when he said he would. And now we've got one coming up called Megan Grissom, Amazing Grace.
That was Megan Grissom, and she's my granddaughter, and uh, she's been a coming to the barn for the last 15 years, ever since she was born. She's this little bitty girl when she started coming to Judy's barn. She said she can't even remember when we didn't have a Judy's barn. I'm very impressed with uh, Megan. How long has she been playing the mandolin, Judy? Well, three or four years, but uh, she learned to play her first song within three or four months. And she had never been, you know, never had no uh, nothing in music. She just picked it up, and Jim Warwick started help, helping her. And uh, she was so little that she couldn't reach around the guitar. She wanted to play a guitar. And her little hand was so little that Jim picked up the mandolin, and she started fiddling around with it. And within three months, she could play a song. Well, she does a very fine job. She needs to stay with that. Yeah. Coming up next, we're going to have Judy Grissom herself doing a recitation. And to tell you the truth, I know nobody who does recitations any better than Judy does. The name of this one is Mama, Show Me Around. I returned recently to the old home place. For as a girl, I wandered so free. I parked my car by the roadside just to take one more look at all the old familiar scenes. There was the old house that once sheltered our family. Of course, it had withered and faded with time. And as I sat on what was left of the old front steps, many, many memories came to my mind. Well, I remember the summer evening after a hard day's work, Mama and I just sit on those same old seats. And we just talked until bedtime came. And I remember how happy I'd be when it came up to shower. Mama would say, we'll rest tomorrow. It'll be too wet to work. But like most girls do, I grew up and moved into pain. Well, I remember how when Mama used to come to visit, she just loved for me to show her a ring. And I got a call one day that Mama left this old world, and she too had gone to a city. She had left behind all the care and hard work of this life and gone to a land of peace. And I too someday will be going to a place where no troubles or heartache can ever be seen. And just like I used to do when Mama came to visit me, Lord, I'd kindly like for Mama to show me a ring. Oh, you know, when I get to heaven, I'm not going to look for Mama. I'm going to look for Jesus, the one that saved my dying soul and gave me life eternal. That was Judy Grissom. Um, fine job, Judy. Thank you. Um, Judy's is closed up right now for the winter months, but she always opens back up uh, the first weekend after Easter, uh, Friday nights at 7.30. Um, mark it on your calendar. 